give us an update on the squad. Obviously, a few hits at the weekend. A few hits when we've got a session this morning, a pre-match session, so we'll assess them. Uh, a nasty looking cheek injury that Paul McGinn sustained. And we've got two suspected broken noses, Callum Butcher and Brody Spencer. So, they, they, especially Callum and Brody, they'll be assessed this morning training. Paul, again, we'll look at, we're waiting for results of his scan, but it won't be looking too good for that one, I don't think. Possibly, yeah. It was it was a slightly late challenge by the commander lad, but with no malice. I think both were going for the ball. <clears throat> we were just a wee bit disappointed that we didn't get the free kick from it. Uh, when we pressed the referee afterwards, he says we got advantage with the shot away at goal, and we clearly didn't. Commander cleared it for a throw in, so a little bit disappointed. But as I say, the young Lewis Mayo, I think it was at challenge Paul, was both were going for the ball, and it was just slightly, slightly late. So. No grievance from us on that one, but it was a, a, a cheek injury that Paul sustained from that. With the Brody and Callum, does it look like they'll be missing as well? There's a chance they will be. We'll look at them today in training. We'll have a session this morning. Uh, uh, Callum's was picked up very early in the game, you know, and he, he managed to get through it, as did Brody, but we'll need to see how they are this morning. A shame, particularly for Callum, having just come back. Yeah, and as I say, he's, he's he's back in. He's been out a long time since the Livingston game last season, so it's been good to get him back in. Uh, we've had good performances at the back three this season, especially Bevis McGabby, who unfortunately missed out on Saturday for Callum. But now that we've got him back, we want to keep him in and around the team. And as I say, we'll see how he is. But we're fingers crossed that it's not too bad as we first suspected. How how's things after the weekend? Disappointed, you know, we, we, we get back into work yesterday uh, as I say, it's a, a very tough place to go uh, I don't think MD's taking more points at, 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 Well, sorry, their home form is, is, is the, as good as anyone in the league So it's a, a tough place to go We're disappointed we didn't get the result In the big moments of the game We probably just didn't get the, the quality that we needed But we go again on Tuesday night in the rearranged game against St Johnson Which was a very difficult fixture for us What was it when you were a bit of a rhythm like this? Confidence sticks out <coughs> It does, yeah, of course it does. Confidence is everything, but we, we, we've assessed everything over the last few weeks. Uh, the Mariners have got a 50% win rate. I think it's a 70% unbeaten uh, ratio as well. <clears throat> so we're not getting too hung up on it. We are disappointed, we're frustrated, and we're doing everything we possibly can to arrest, only taking one point out of seven games. So we, we know where we need to continue to strive to get that. We believe we've got the quality, we believe we've got the players, and uh, we hope they can get back to winning ways, and which will be a very tough game on Tuesday night. Just on the sort of injury front, when you're going for a, a run like this, you sort of need all the, the good luck you can get, and it must be frustrating that you know, you've been hit with that bad luck, especially when you get players coming back. It looks as if the squad was in good shape, and now there's a few guys out again. Well, it was. We're looking, it was looking healthy. You've got Beareth back in the team. Uh, we knew he was a week, away, a week or two away, just as we're losing guys like Pap Suari. You know, so you seem to get one back into the session and one goes out. Uh, but what, what, as they were hopeful on the, the ones that were picked up, the ones injuries weekend, but just the nature of them being like facial injuries, it will be a, a wee bit of assessing that they were doing. There's all that talk about when a, a club is on a good run and, and good momentum. When it's going the, the other way, how do you get out of that sort of rut or that churn for that's not quite going to plan? Crap answer for you guys, just working harder. Are working not so much harder because that's one thing we get every day with the players a fantastic group of players to work with uh, everything the managers try to implement since walking in the door uh, on the training pitch on the match pitch and off the pitch with the analysis team we've got, we've got two brilliant boys and uh, Graham MacArthur and Ross Clarkson who put in so much time that helps myself and the manager with the analysis side of the game so we, we do a lot of that and it's just continue to stick to what we're doing because we believe the way we work in terms of preparation, in terms of training, in terms of building up to games is the right way and we just need to keep doing it. Craig will be in straight into the dugout tomorrow night. Does that complicate things in terms of what to expect from the game? No, I don't think so. I think teams also get a wee lift, but they've obviously had a good result last week against Kilmarnock. Craig's a very experienced manager. I know him well from my playing days at Hearts and I wish him well in the job. I think it's a an appointment that they'll be looking to go and try and arrest their, their form and, and get them up the league. So, But in terms of what we're doing, it does impact what we do. How do you think will do that? As I say, I think he's an experienced manager. I think the last time he was involved in the dugout was probably, what, 2019? So uh, I've not spoken to him for a while. Last time I seen him when he was at Breakin and I was briefly working with five. So it'll be nice to see him catch up because we were close when we're, when we're both players at heart. So he sort of took him under his wing a little bit. But as I say, it'll be... 
whatever Craig does there, I'm sure he'll be trying to do as well as he can for St Johnson, but as I say, it doesn't impact on what, anything that we're trying to do tomorrow night. Just to follow up from what Andrew said, is it, you hope that once you get one win a night, can yeah, you're always looking for that. As I say, it's it was such a, a good run of form, albeit when you look at the four games prior to Ross County, uh, Aberdeen and Kilmarnock, the, the performances were as good as I've worked with, uh, especially when you look back to the St Mirren game and we, we narrowly lose it, and then we narrowly lose Celtic and Rangers as well, and, and games that were well in, possibly should have taken points from. The Livingston game, we lose Lennon just on half time, so it changed the dynamic of the second half. But those performances is what we need to get back to, but we don't take points in them. So it's about getting points and how we do that on Tuesday night, and then hopefully we can instill a wee bit of confidence getting into the game of the weekend against Hearts. Do you have to change many things? What needs to change, you think? No, but we slightly changed on Saturday with the shape and the dynamic of the team. We're going with the three attackers up front because uh, we believe the sort of surface at Kilmarnock, as, as I say, it's well documented that, that teams possibly do change their style of play for that. Uh, it did it not work. We don't get the the goal or the win or even a point. But as I say, that was the decision we took to play that game. Uh, we'll make a decision on what we want to do for tomorrow night. We'll just get one or two wee adjustments to make this morning in terms of waiting for the injury situation and who we think we can maybe place in certain areas of the pitch. You say in house that you know you won't get too hung up on on the last few results. Is that because the the proof is there from last season, very similar squad to this season? under the same management staff that you had such a good run the proof is there that it is possible we it's more than possible uh, but we believe that's the case as I said the, the stats I gave you a 50% uh, win rate and 70% undefeated there won't be many managers getting questioned on that you know uh, it's just in the back of the run that we've had but we, we're more than happy with the squad that we have the players that we have because we do believe we have real quality in there we just need to try and get that back to them winning games and, and hopefully get another another run